What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about the NEC, me walking around, having a look at my homes, looking here, there and everywhere, doing lots and loads of stuff. But there's a twist. <laughs> and I've got to own up. <laughs> See, I didn't think I'd be making this video right now, the one that I'm sitting here filming right now. The whole NEC stuff, that's great. I, I knew I was going to film that. I'm a bit of a pants YouTuber, if, you really, if we really be honest. So, I've finished at the NEC and then basically died for like 10 hours sleep, 12 hours sleep after the NEC. Because I was there from, from Tuesday till Saturday. Um, full on, yeah, brilliant show. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's made so many new connections, met so many people, selfie, selfie, selfie stickers. And uh, yeah, a, a, a fabulous time. I absolutely, <laughs> fabulous, <laughs> really had a great time. Which is a double-edged sword when it comes to being a YouTuber and trying to film the whole process for you guys. And I need to do better. <laughs> I've filmed all the way around, filmed myself in motorhomes, filmed myself looking at products, saying what I think. Just me just waffling to a camera, basically. So I've downloaded it all, chucked it all on the MacBook, and I've sent it all straight onto Google Drive, ready for Mevi. So Mevi's downloaded it all, and then he sent me a text saying, you've got no intro. You've got no outro, so there's no start, there's no end, and there's nothing that joins the clips together. I've just randomly gone round and filmed whilst I've just saw something and something's popped into my head. I click record, record it, and that's it. I haven't connected any of the clips. I got so caught up in everything, seeing people and having chats and, you know, getting getting back into the real swing of things, because this was the first October motorhome show for three years. Um, so yeah, it was absolutely amazing, but I've not like, Hey guys, I'm at the NEC, da, 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 I'm going to spend the week here. I've not done any of that. <laughs> I haven't connected the clips like, Oh, right. I've got to go here. Going to do this. Going to go look at this right at home now. Haven't done any of that. And then there's one clip where I'm talking about being on motorhome Matt's podcast with Kat uh, and Keith. I was wearing a mic and then the mic receiver is on the camera. I thought, right, I'm going to record a piece of the camera. So I click record, like, yeah, you know, and I'm into full swing. And <laughs> there's no sound because I didn't turn them the receiver on the camera. So this thing's listening, but it's not going into the camera. So it's just silent. <laughs> I remember Mevy was in, when we were at the show, Mevy was in the press uh, press office with me and they had a, like a press pack that you could download. So we after I said, oh, Mev, what about the, what about the, the press pack have we got loads of little bits of video in there that maybe we could use and like plaster bits together you know and make it make it work and he's like oh great thinking and there was like i think there's like seven gig and i think it's just loads and loads of pictures which are great pictures i think there's only like one clip or two clips of video in there barbecuing on a grill doesn't make no sense i love i love the press team i really do they are fabulous fabulous uh, at what they do but we yeah I mean it's my mistake in the first place I shouldn't be relying on a press pack but that was <laughs> not gonna help me in any way so I was on the podcast with uh, Kat we were lucky enough to be invited onto the podcast with Motorhome Matt and Keith to yeah have a chat about the current times of uh, motorhomes what we think is happening with the market um, where we think it's gonna be going in the future with the, with the such a delay in supply because uh, some dealers are taking their orders for up to 2024 now, which is incredible. Um, so yeah, we was on there for about half an hour. We proper, proper gate crashed it, me and Kat, as as we do. Um, and it's an absolute brilliant podcast. So you should definitely head on over to Matt's podcast um, and check that episode out and all the others because they're yeah they are top 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 episodes. And he really does know his stuff. I mean, he's he's had 19 motorhomes, 19. I got lucky with the first one, but he's at 19. But yeah, we, we grilled him a bit on that. Is that one a year? Are you like Goldilocks? Are you done yet? This one's too big. No. This one's too small. No. This one's just... So definitely head on over and uh, check that out. It is a double-edged sword being a YouTuber. Everyone and their nan wants to be a YouTuber. You want to create videos to show people what you're doing, where you are, what you're seeing, or, you know, about whatever subject you're doing. And... I mean, if you're making them about how to, I suppose, like, you know, how to make a sandwich, then you just film it when you, you set it all up and you film it. That's a lot easier. Doing it 
like run and gun style so when you're at the show you're trying to film and trying to show the show and trying to show what you're seeing and what you're doing but then also trying to enjoy the show and, and be part of the show as yourself it's quite hard because you want to be in the moment with your friends with people that watch the videos people that want to talk to you and have a chat with you you want to be right in the moment with them but then you also need to film to then put more out um yeah i think i just need to switch my brain a little bit more to to to, to constantly be pressing the record button and actually think of the story a bit more but the the show was brilliant it really was I really, really did enjoy it. Alright, so let's go check out this burst now with a pop top. Now, I was trying to look for the skylight, me and Tash saw through the window that there is there is one in up there. But this is where the drop down bed is, so it does look very nice. And look at this. It's actually got a staircase up to, <laughs> to this. Now don't get me wrong, this looks really good. That is really quite more, more rigid than I thought it was going to be. You've got heat vents up here. That's cool. Um, as you've got, the, you've got the skylight and then you've got space up here for whatever you're going to put up here. That's where the cylinder fills up and pulls it all out. And yeah, it looks really good. I'm still sceptical on, on that design and about the how much solar you're going to get on the roof. They reckon you could probably get two 175 flexes. And you've got the big garage. So overall, I'd say that it look, inside it looks a lot better than the outside, I'd say. I'm not sure how it's going to play out in the long term, though, really, to be fair. It's going to be over 3.5 tonnes, so you're going to need a different licence. And they haven't actually got the uh, payload at the moment. They haven't uh, got that final figure through. I don't know how. Uh, they know it's on a 3.850 uh, chassis but they haven't got the weight of uh, the unladen weight yet which is a bit confusing don't know why why you wouldn't have that when you come in you've got the price you know the price but you haven't got the weight I don't, I don't, I don't understand that um, but also they said at minus 30 it will still be room temperature inside so like a nice 15 15 16 yes. degrees inside so it is insulated um, and they say you can leave a bedding up there as well um, leave it made up when it closes because there is a gap so yeah apparently uh, you can do all that but I'm not convinced I'm not convinced I'm at the park for night stand and I know you guys use park for night a lot I use park for night um, but I've never actually known where it started or who owned it or where you know the faces behind it um, the two people that started it two guys two guys that started two guys, it yeah. the two guys that started it aren't here unfortunately I'm with Marie and there's a whole team of people here at the park for night stand You've now got a new thing called GeoSpot? Yep, it's a new initiative for this year. We were looking for um, spots that were in private places in the middle of the countryside. Land that's not used for anything else at the moment. Yep. Um, so people can go and they can benefit from it in autonomous vehicles. So vehicles that already have toilets included. Yeah, yeah, so all self-sufficient. So you've got, you, you know, you're off grid, you've got your, your solar, you've got your toilet. You don't need any services. You just need somewhere to park that you're allowed to park. Yep. Um, and you were saying that that's it, it, only one person can use one it? One to two. One yeah. to two people so, can use it. So sometimes, I mean, I know you guys probably experienced it, you, you turn up somewhere and there's four or five people there or it's all full. So, but this new one sounds really good. And it's included within the app? Yeah, within it's the included subscription. in the subscription. Perfect, perfect. That's, uh, no, that sounds really good because it, it comes with a code so then, and then it blocks it. Yeah. yeah. That's right, yeah. So there's a code where you, when you arrive at the spot, there's a code on the box. You right. put the code into the app. Uh, and that says, I've arrived here, um, yep. I'm using this place, and also it stops other people turning up for no reason right. if the place is going to Right, right. That's perfect. Well, it's good to uh, have a chat, and uh, thank you very much. Now, this is, these are massive motorhomes. These are Frankie's. We're on the SMC stand right now. Big shout out to SMC that gave us the live tickets to give away. That has been down an absolute treat. So, yeah, massive shout out to them. Um, I do like, I've seen where there's a, a garage door at the back and the side so you've got complete access either either or you know so if you really do stuff it that side then you can get to it this side i mean just look at it i mean <laughs> we know how big i am and there's quite a lot of space still i do like i do like these a classes they do give you a bit more a bit more i don't know what you want to call it but a bit more <laughs> these are luxury i mean just look at them huge huge space Although that, I mean, this is usually a one-seater on in most, most motorhomes. 
But I do like that. Look, look at the length of that dashboard. That dashboard is just ridiculous. Oh, you've got your microwave there. Considering the size of the motorhome, it's not the biggest of fridge freezers, although it is the magic door. I do like the magic door. Um, again, pretty nice kitchen. They're glass. <laughs> glass openings. And uh, I won't get in just because I don't want to uh, ruin anything. But I like that. That is a really nice shower. And then from here will be the toilet. Yeah, nice toilet. <laughs> Got a heated towel, towel rail. Like a proper radiator. There's another radiator. Bloody hell. Brilliant. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of island beds. I'd rather it just be all just there, you know, and not just... So you can't really do much with the space, can you? I'm assuming there's going to be some... No, there's no storage under there. I suppose there is here. Oh, hang on. Oh, look at that for my pants. I wouldn't mind a weekend away in this, to be honest. <laughs> look us up, Frank, here. It's £215,000. So it's about five of my budget. Really. Got a little bit more saving to do. Now, I've come across a Cafago stand, and uh, I know two people that love Cafago. Andy and Michelle, they're massive advocates of their Cafago, they love it. I saw this one at the February show and I really, really loved it. Now, if I was to buy new, if I was, I think this ticks all the boxes. So I'm uh, not going to wander too far because I've been waiting to get in it, so now I'm going to jump in. But have a look at this. It is, I think, probably the closest I would get to perfect. You've got the, the swivel seats at the front and you've got the massive, massive amount of seating area. I, mean, I say massive, it's, it's quite compact, but it's still in a lot of seats and quite cozy, nice table for, for, for dinner parties. Pretty good kitchen. You've got spaces here to put things, which I quite like. Got the oven, got lots of little cubby holes and God knows what, I mean, lots of space. You've got the fridge freezer, which is brilliant. And then come back here, let me put my bag down. You've got the separate shower and you've got the nice toilet with the basin. Really, really nice. Which then leads into the two twins. I think this can come out a little bit. You've got storage down there. But this bedroom obviously allows a massive garage. And oh, the garage is open out the back. I look at the TV there, I didn't even see the TV. That comes out of the sofa. But there's so much storage. Look at that, that is so swish. Look at that. I know Michelle will have her gin glasses in there. I, I, we know Michelle loves her gin, don't we? <laughs> so they, they would be brilliant. For, I'd have my cocktail glasses. I love a cocktail. Singapore sling, please. Uh, right. The, the, the colour scheme, the whole feel of this motorhome is absolutely banging. I really do like it. Ooh. <laughs> Nearly fell off over tit there. But here's the garage. Absolutely massive. I'll definitely be able to get my bike in there. I'll be able to get, you know, all my fishing gear. God knows what else in there. Uh, I, and because it's, it's on a Mercedes uh, chassis, got loads of payload, can do what I want. Yeah, up to four and a half ton. I think this one that I've just showed you is... <laughs> so, <laughs> as I said, if I was buying new and I had the money, then this would probably be it. But as I haven't got that kind of cash, then um, you can either <laughs> start donations below, or we can just keep dreaming. <laughs> I oh, hung out with the guys at uh, Fire Safety Stick. Them guys, they know their stuff. I've done a video when we were at Willowfields and we got to play around with them and we messed around with the traditional fire extinguishers. And yeah, I mean, I, I always thought, you know, these are the best and in certain situations. And you know, if you know how to use them, then you can put fire out of them. But I didn't know they only give you about seven, seven seconds, seven to 10 seconds or something like that. And you've got to know how to use them. There's so many of them. You've got to make sure you have the right one for the right fire of, at the right time and they leave a flipping mess behind. 
and it just ruin anything that it touches. And then we've got to use the fire safety stick. In, in my personal opinion, much better than that. So head on over to their site if you want to have, uh, find out anything more about that. But they know what they're talking about, and they've uh, they got a good product there. Definitely worth uh, putting one in your motorhome for sure. I made sure when I uh, saw the guys over at Soul Bio, their toilet chemical, well it's not, it's a toilet fluid, um, is second to none. It's organic, it's, you know, you could you can drink it, basically. Um, you can use it as a surface cleaner. It's got like between 150 and 180 herbs, minerals and natural extracts. A lot more than the Colonel's 11 secret herbs and spices, I tell you that. <laughs> but yeah, that is proper on it. I mean, the stuff smells amazing. And like, you know, there's no blue staining, there's none of that malarkey and it can in you know as long as you put it in the right place you're not just dipping on the on the ground in the street you can pour it anywhere because it's a hundred percent natural so it doesn't matter what tank it goes in it'll be fine because it's all hundred percent organic and natural I had an absolute cracking time at the NEC got to hang out with loads of my mates see people that I haven't seen for ages meet loads of you guys and yeah had just had a flipping brilliant time and I can't wait for the next one. I just need 130 grand. Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> if you look for half, I look for half. We might get there quicker. And you can check out.